I'm Neha. Tuesdays are terrific. And I'm Chloe. Today is Wednesday, January 14th, 2015, and today is a B-Day. And this is KNN. At this time, will you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today, for your dining pleasure at the Cafe de la Frise, you will enjoy chicken tenders with homemade wheat roll, nacho roasted chickpeas, baby carrots, strawberry applesauce, and seasonal fresh fruit. Thanks, Neha. And now it's time for an interesting fact for today. Did you know that on this day in 1943, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt became the first U.S. President to fly in an airplane while in office? He flew from Miami, Florida to French Morocco where he met with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to discuss World War II. The C.C. Griffin Boys and Girls Soccer Team will be holding skill development sessions starting next quarter. If you are interested in playing soccer for C.C. Griffin this spring, go to the soccer page on the C.C. Griffin website and complete the sign-up form. Show choir will resume January 26th from 4 to 5 p.m. The first play rehearsal for Alienated will be Tuesday, January 27th from 4 to 5. Please report to the chorus room door after school. You may bring a light snack if you desire. This rehearsal will, will be to get your scripts and perform a read-through of the play. Attention to the students competing in the Verizon App Challenge. Please meet Miss Williard in the mall following the announcements for a picture. And now please stand by for Ms. Szymanski's announcements and words of wisdom. Good morning, Noble Knights. Now for a few words of wisdom. Today's words of wisdom align with the learner profile trait of being open-minded. There may just be four seasons of the year, but as you move through life, you'll notice that life has many seasons of its own. There will be good times and bad times, sweet times and bitter times, times when there is plenty and times when there is not. 17th century American poet Anne Bradstreet gives us this view. If we had no winter, the spring would not be so pleasant. If we did not sometimes taste adversity, prosperity would not be so welcome. In other words, the bad times of our lives help us appreciate the good times. Are you going through a difficult time? Do things feel gloomy like a dark winter day? If so, talk to someone a little older and wiser and ask them to help you look for signs of spring. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Szymanski. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs> 